The Scholar Shrine is located near Noble Court on the map. Head out of town in the left direction towards Western Noble Court Flats. There, you'll find a tent. Go downwards once you walk towards the tent, and reach it. There you'll find a hill, and a man with a speech bubble above his head. Walk around him, and you should be near the Shrine of the Sage, which is where the Scholar ability can be found. The Cleric Shrine can be found near Still Snow, which is where Chapter 2 of Primrose's story takes place. You'll be wanting to head out of town in a leftwards direction once again. This time we're looking for a chest as a landmarker. Once you've reached the chest, head downwards in between these two trees and walk around these two trees in front of them. There, you'll find an entrance to the Shrine of the Flamebearer, which is where the Cleric's secondary job can be found. The Hunter Shrine is located near Victor's Hollow, which is where Chapter 2 of Ulbrich's story takes place. Continue following the path until you reach the sign. Once you've reached the sign, continue right. Here, you'll find the Shrine of the Huntress, which is where the Hunter's secondary job can be found. The Thief Shrine can be found near Quarry Crest. Head out of town in the downwards direction. Once you're in South Quarry Pass, follow the path until it ends on the left. Once you've passed the bridge, you can take the hill down into the shrine. This is where the thieving secondary job can be found. The warrior shrine can be found near Stone Guard. Here are a few towns near Stone Guard to help you find it on the map. Head out of town in the downwards direction. Follow the path all the way up the stairs and continue following the path left past the sign. Once you've reached the end, you should see the entrance to the shrine. The Apothecary Shrine is located near Saints Bridge. Head out of town in the right direction. Once you're out of town, follow the path right and up. When you hit the sign, go downwards and right. You should see the entrance to the shrine hidden in a hill. The Dancer Shrine can be located near Wellspring. You can get to Wellspring from Primrose's starting town, Sunshade. Head out of town in the right direction towards northern Wellspring Sands. Once you're here, follow the path right until you reach the save icon. When you reach the save icon, continue following the path up until you reach a fork in the road. When you reach the fork, continue left on the path and you should see the shrine entrance.
The Merchant Shrine can be located near Gold Shore. You can reach Gold Shore by traveling from Stone Guard. Head out of town in the left direction. Follow the stairs downwards. Continue following the path and go into the next area, Moonstruck Coast. Once you're in Moonstruck Coast, go downwards and to the left until you reach this arch. Continue following the side of the rock and you should see the shrine entrance hidden away. The next shrine I'm going to show you is a secret shrine. Located near Everhold, you can use Stone Guard or Cobblestone to get here. There are four secret shrines in the game. This is the Rune Lord Shrine for the Rune Lord secondary job. These jobs can't be accessed through primary characters, so you'll need to do these shrines to get them. Go downwards out of the town and follow the steps along the path. Once you reach the save icon, continue right. Continue right and down under the mountain that obfuscates your view. Keep in mind that all of the secret shrines have a boss at the end that you must defeat before you can get the secondary job. The Starseer Shrine is located near Whisper Mill. You can get to Whisper Mill by traveling from Noble Court. Head left into the Western Whisper Mill Flats. Continue left until the end of the wooden posts. You should see a small opening that you can go up through, and then continue left into the shrine. The Sorcerer's Shrine can be found near Dusk Barrow. To get to Dusk Barrow, you can take the path from Victor's Hollow. Once out of town, follow the path until you reach the fork in the road. When you've reached the fork, take the path upwards and follow the path until you reach the cave entrance. Keep in mind, the design for this cave is a little more complex than the others. The Warmaster Shrine can be found near Riverford. You can travel to Riverford from Quarry Crest. Travel past the save icon and up the hill. Continue going left until you can go no further, and then follow the path into the shrine. 